about to get him. Light of flame, light of flame. Light of flame. Light of flame. Light of Peace. We back at it. Rayshon Anderson with Catch My Vibe Radio. And here with one of your favorite, favorite photographers, Miami Jerry. Yes. Right? Yes. 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 I, I, I was going to call you. <laughs> you know what? I look at your name so much, and you know how many times I've been corrected on not to say Mimi. Oh, it's, <laughs> yeah, Mimi, Miami, Mamie. And I'm like, yo, like, <laughs> it's like, no, it's Miami. It's yeah. Miami. No, you're not the first. So, walk me through that right there. How did your parents even come up with that name right there? So, I'm a twin. Oh, wow. There's two of me. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, so uh, I am a twin. Mm -hmm. um, my parents didn't know they were having twins mm. until the birth. So, the name was supposed to be Robin, my sister's name, mm. Miami, and then our last name, Guiden. Wow. And then two came out. And they're like... Okay, and then my mom's a twin, ironically, too, so it was wow. kind of more shocking. So we, they just split the name, and then she got Robin, I got Miami. But, yeah. Okay. Yep. Now, they always say twins share, like, the same passions or the same things like that. Total opposite. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so it's day, it's day and night, then, huh? Um, no, I mean, we, we're, like, best friends. We have matching tattoos on our chest, so it's mm -hmm. like, you know, she's, I talk to her almost every single day. Mm -hmm. We play college ball together, you know, but then outside of that, like, you know, she has her path as she works in the school system. Mm -hmm. I started my own business, you know, so it's kind of we're different than those ways, but also similar. We don't look alike. You, you can right. tell with sisters, but we're kind of we have what she likes, what I like. And mm -hmm. then when we come together, it's just we have a ball. So, yeah, I was definitely going to ask if y'all ever used to put that on your parents, like switching maybe just a headband or something <laughs> like that. Maybe it's some no, we're total opposites. Okay. Yeah. Don't even look anything alike. No. Nope. OK. Now, obviously. When a lot of people see you, they, they see your stature and they see how tall you are and things of that nature. Um, what sports did you uh, come up playing? So I was a basketball player. So I got a full ride scholarship to play to Western Michigan. So mm. that's what brought me to Michigan. So okay. I'm from Chicago. Uh, Western was one of the schools that offered a full ride. So that was the school that my sister and I wanted to go together. So we played there for four years and then I met my husband and then mm -hmm. moved to Jackson. So that's how I got here. So height wise, Yes, basketball was my life for a very long time. And how about say, what position did you play? Two through five. Whoa. So, yeah, I was all over the place. Nice. But, yeah, nice. I was very versatile, so that was the nice part where it's, give me a short girl, let me take her down to the post. Mm -hmm. Give me a tall girl, post player, okay, let me bring her out to a wing so I can attack her to the basket. So it was, I was very versatile when right. I played. Boy. So I was, I liked driving with my left, even though I was a righty, but I loved the left side of the court. But then also being able to have that versatility where I could have a, a, a small girl, I take it down into the post and score on her, or I have a big girl, take her out in the wing and I can drive on her. So it was just being versatile to doing. Hard part was knowing all the plays. <laughs> I mean, you got to know the two position, the three, right. four, five, plus the one, two at times. So, I mean, it was a struggle because I had to know the whole entire rule, mm -hmm. uh, the playbook, but it was fun. It was a good experience, a lot of work. It taught me a lot from, you know, the woman I am today, you know, the business owner, just because of the, the times you had to persevere through days that are just tough and you don't want to do it. So it's just like I've learned a lot just from playing sports. Mm -hmm. And I think I, I don't even know what the woman I would be today if it wasn't for that. So it's like I'm very blessed to be able to, you know, have that experience that, you know, a lot of people can't say they've gone off to play, you know, a college mm -hmm. sport, get Division One. So it was it was fun. Now, with Chicago having so many great tastes with food and stuff like that, was it a culture shock when you had to come here to Michigan and experience, <laughs> and experience our foods? I mean, food-wise, no, because I've always been a healthy eater, so mm -hmm. it wasn't like – it was uh, – People are a little different in Chicago versus Jackson, but, you know, I'm very, like, I can get along with anybody. So right. it's like, take me in any place. I can have a conversation with this person versus this person type of thing. So, I mean, was it an adjustment? Yes, but now this is home. So I couldn't imagine, you know, moving anywhere else right now. Mm -hmm. Maybe warmer weather, give me that. But, you know, <laughs> yeah. this works here, so yeah. Now, uh, the number one thing up there is row the boat. Was, was that something new for you, or was that uh, some type of thing you had to adjust to? Because I know that that is their favorite celebration or the slogan, is row the boat, row the boat. I don't actually don't know. I haven't been back home oh. in, like, years right. since high school. Ooh. So I've actually been in Michigan now for almost 13 years now. Mm -hmm. So it's like I graduated high school, right from high school, 18 years old, moved straight to Michigan. So it's been... A minute to where but I still call it home because mm -hmm. that's yeah. 
that's home. Now, we see you do an amazing job with photos and things of that nature. Where did this passion for photography come from? So, um, once I got married, I got married right out, out of college. Mm -hmm. So, my husband and I have been together for, I mean, what, three years, and we got married. Mm -hmm. And then I stayed home. So, I trained athletes. I was a uh, strength and conditioning coach so mm -hmm. that was what I always did I trained athletes sports specific type things so if you're a basketball player we're going to do agility work type of things and then once we got married right away we had our first son mm -hmm. and then I stayed home so at that moment moment it was like okay what am I going to do I'm going to be a stay home mom mm -hmm. and then I'm like this is not me <laughs> like right, right, right. I'm just so used to being around people doing things so I kind of just picked up a camera um, I've always been into art, so back in high school and, you know, middle school, I would draw. Like, I have a portrait I drew of my husband, mm -hmm. you know, so it was just, I was always artistic in that way, and then picking up a camera was a way for me to express art, yeah. so it kind of just started from picking up a camera, oh, I got my cute son, let me take some photos yeah, of him, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then I was like, wow, I really enjoyed doing this, and then kind of joined organizations to help me learn, like, educate myself on the, the process of it, but mm -hmm. also the business side, and then... Um, it's probably, what, eight years later now, open up a storefront. So it just kind of started as something to do mm -hmm. as a mom. But then now it's like became a full passion of mine. Okay, I got you. Now, what you're saying, being into the art realm as well, I know how nitpicky you guys can be when it may be like an angle or, or you know, I drew this line just a little differently. So how picky are you when it comes to your ph photography? Yeah, I would say, I mean, I'm very meticulous. I mean, you have to, you know, because it's like what we see is different than the normal eye, mm -hmm. you know, and that's why you hire a photographer, a professional in that field, because you want them to get it the right way versus, yes. well, I can just do it myself with a cell phone, but yet <laughs> yeah. there's all these other distractions in the image or something that doesn't fit right. So it's like, that's the reason why you hire a professional to do what they do, because we look at things totally different. Now, if I show you an image, I can critique an image based off of, how to make it better or how to make it where your eyes get drawn to something and not find the distractions and stuff. So it's just over time being able to see those things. So now when I see it with the client during a session, if it's outdoors and studios, it's mm -hmm. like, okay, let me fix that now. So then when I have post time where I'm in front of the computer retouching, there's less retouch for me. But also when a client sees it, they're like, wow, like you really do pay attention to detail, just the little mm -hmm. things. But, and that's why you pay me to do what I do because it's different than what, how you would see it. I, and I, I was gonna, that was going to be my next question to really explain to people. It's more than just taking yeah. a picture. You got lighting, you got angles. Absolutely. You got so many intricate parts into photography that it's, it's just not so simple as people think. It is. Think. It's totally. I mean, it's. I always tell people it's a very expensive hobby if you wanted <laughs> yeah. to make it a hobby, but if you wanted to make it a business, you can really do some things with it. Like, I mean, it's, it's fun because if you want to be creative, it's a way to express yourself, depending on whatever you want to do. If it's building relationships with people, which I do a lot of, you know, because I'm very personable, like when we have a session. I mean, some of my seniors who I shoot, they have become babysitters for my kids because it's just a relationship building right. piece. And, you know, and so it's like you pay for a lot of those type of things. Like I have someone I can trust, someone who I feel comfortable in front of, mm -hmm. you know, who knows, you know, how to shoot and capture and capture the moment and create lifelong, you know, memories. It's like that's why you hire me to do what I do. And I love right. it. And then you can see the fun and then the excitement that I have during a session, you know. Now, we, we, we always see the good turnouts. As, as you can see, what are some of the troubling things that you that you have to do go through behind the scenes? I know sometimes with, you might not get the right shot or you might get not get the person to, to interact the way you need to, but... You know, the hardest thing I would say with photography is is working with people, mm -hmm. you know, because everyone's different. You might have, I mean, you can even say with what you do with interviews and stuff, mm -hmm. you might have someone who's super quiet, you know, very reserved or someone who's very vibrant, but that also can't calm them down, you know. So it's just <laughs> yeah. like working with individuals is probably the hardest part, especially kids, because you never know what you get with a kid. Yeah, right, right, a three-year-old right. could be like, I don't want to take photos, but, you know. With all of that, you still have to do what you have to do to make sure the job gets done. You know, there's been times where I have a family session and the kid is crying their eyes out, but you try to try to make it fun to where a kid where it's an interactive game versus like 
let's just sit down and take a photo. Mom and dad are getting stressed, but like, let's have fun. Let's play peekaboo. Let's play hide and seek. Let's, you know, hold hands and let's run across the field type of thing. So it's just making it to where it doesn't feel like a photo shoot. Mm -hmm. Or even if I have women who are very self-conscious about being in front of the camera, I'm like, girl, we just going to have a conversation. I'm just have my camera and right, we right, just going to, I might snap a couple shots and then we'll see how it goes type of thing. So it's just like, I don't want you to feel stressed about, you know, because if you see me stressed, it's going to show yeah. with them and stuff. So my biggest thing is just making sure you're comfortable, you know, and then the shoot's going to turn out fine. Mm -hmm. Now, taking a break from photography, how important it is it to have a significant other to, I guess, support, uh, support you in this light or really help you when it comes to doing things of this nature? You know, it's my husband is literally my rock. Like, I don't know. I mean, I probably could have done it all by myself. <laughs> But it's just having my husband to you sort of support me wholeheartedly. I mean, if it's a late night session, if it's, hey, babe, what do you need? Like, I'm here for you. Okay, we want to get this equipment. Okay, let's figure this out, how we can make this happen, because I want you to be happy. So that was probably the, the reason why I've been able to be so successful, too, is because I've had him. I mean, even getting this studio space, he's hiring contractors, yeah. you know, to come help do the work. And it's just having that security of knowing that your spouse is, you know, invested in this process equally too, you know, when, with his, you know, work endeavors as well, I'm like, okay, babe, what do you need from me? It's, you know, how can we help both help to both elevate each other? Because ultimately this is our goal, what we want to give to our kids and not just you do what you do. I do what I do type of thing. So, I mean, that's a huge indicator. I mean, we just had vacation over the weekend um, last week and talked about our 2023 goals and, you know, what we want to do this year. So it's just good to kind of have those conversations together mm -hmm. and not be, what am I going to do? I don't know, like, you know, individual. So it's a total partnership that we kind of have for us. Gotcha. Now, with him being your brother half, has he started critiquing your pictures yet? He has the lingo. Oh. He'll say some certain words. And I'm like, okay, you get it, you know. Mm -hmm. But he'll like, I mean, he, he understands it now. Like kind of the depth of feel, you know, the angles, the, the, the perspective, the point of view type of thing. So he kind of gets a lot of that type of stuff. You know, sometimes he'll say like, well, why didn't you do this? And I'm like, you take the camera and do it. Like, <laughs> can you do it? Right. And, you know, but it's always fun. Like he always loves what I do. And he'll like share some of my work and stuff like that just to kind of support. So. Or I'll take his photo and he's looking back like, okay, can we do this again? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I guess. I'm so. about to say, so you're rubbing off on him just a, a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. He, he gets it, so yeah. I got you. Know, you know, you wear so many hats or you have so many titles. Wife, mom, you know, photographer, you know, so on and so on. Like, how do you balance all of that as well? Oh, you just do it. I mean, honestly. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes balance is a hard word mm -hmm. just because... It's, I mean, it's whatever we want to do, we kind of just, we do it. You know, right. it's, we have the understanding. Like, you know, if it's getting up in the morning, I coach CrossFit at 5.30 a.m. That's the time I can get to work out. Mm -hmm. And then I come to the studio. Okay, the kids need to get picked up. Okay, we do that. Okay, food has to get ready. We do that. My husband has his works. Like, okay, we just, we literally just do it. But we do make a point to where it's like we can put work away. That's probably the most important is because I, we don't want to work ourselves to death and then to can't, you know, benefit from it. So it's just like the biggest part of the balance is making sure we just have time for the things that we enjoy and we want to do as a family, as, as a couple, or even like an individual. So, I mean, it's, it takes some time. It takes a lot of sacrifice, but the biggest thing is just, just get up in the morning and just go do it. Now, like you said, everyone is a part of this process and everybody's endeavors as well. Has, has the, have the kids start picking up on, on your habits as well or your hobbies? Yeah. My daughter, my middle one, Aaliyah, she is my mini-me. Okay. Like, mommy, let's do a photo and then posing <laughs> and then this and like, and then my youngest, Aspen, she's three, so she's like right there. She's mm -hmm. like, mommy, you gonna take a photo shoot? You gonna do a photo shoot of me? Uh -huh. um, but I can say with our son, he's very, um, like he's has a follow like step by step, like very routine. So he gets it when we have to like get this done first, get this done next, mm -hmm. this happens next. So it's just like, you can see how all three of our kids have picked up on our work ethics and then I'm hoping, you know, they, that can carry on to yeah. once they get older, you know, because there's even photos of my husband and I we took. I had my son hold the camera like, here, son, hold this camera. Yeah. OK, do this, do that. And he gets it. So, you know, so it's, it's exciting to see their growth 
you know, mm-hmm. based off of what we're doing and, you know, where we're at and our mindset and everything. So it's, they, they, they love it. That's good. Um, I, w- I would like to say, I think, I'm not, no, let me say, not think. I believe the women are dominating, especially around here, the photographer you see. Yeah. Like you, you got Sharani, you got yep. Sandy as well. And yep. Sandy mentioned that is, uh, before I get to that. What is it that the women are just taking better pictures than the men, the men right now? You know, I think, I mean, we're just awesome. Is that, <laughs> can I just say that? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, no, I mean, I think a lot of it is just, there has been so much competition between amongst women mm-hmm. of like, I have to do this, I have to do this. But it, realistically, it's like, hey, I just want you to succeed. I want all of us to succeed. Like, how can we get better, like, together, like, or whatever, you know? So it's just, I think, of trying to be a good mom, you know, being a good wife, it carries over to, like, well, I'm going to make sure my business is the same way. Like, I'm not going to be all good in these three things, but then all of a sudden slack and my photography skills and stuff. So, and I just think, you know, with women, we're very, we're nurturers. So especially if, you do, if you're doing a family session, we know how to communicate with a kid because, a lot of us have kids, you, are, you right. know, so and that's kind of how we carry over to doing our family sessions or whatever the case may be. So it's just we're awesome. Mm-hmm. I think the motherly aspect helps a lot, mm-hmm. you know, and just always being like not let's say a perfectionist, but just wanting to get wanting to look good. Like I'm not going to post something that don't look good. Like that don't make sense. <laughs> and uh, like I was previously going to say, Sandy said you've been like a real almost like mentor yeah. for her. She said you've been so helpful for her, not just yourself, but Sharani as well. Yeah. And she said like, you know, without her help, sometimes like I don't, I don't know where I'd be. I think <laughs> I believe she said you told her to get into prints because she was digital yeah. right? and yep. things like that. And how important is it, like you just said, for another woman to support a woman in this? Field? I mean, it's huge because, like I kind of said before, with the the competition thing, like I don't look at it as a competition. Like I want you to succeed because if you're succeeding, I'm succeeding. If the other girl is uh, another person is succeeding, we're all going to succeed together. So it's like I'm a, I'm an open book. Like, mm-hmm. and I always say like it's a setting the standard too. Like if everyone else has a sim- less similar price point, but just similar things then it's like you know we're not just gonna price shop or do this like I want Sandy to be successful like I'm super proud of her even though I've only met her twice (laughs) I think the first time I actually met her when I stopped at her studio and I, I I'm not even from Jackson so it was more so she just reached out one time and was like hey I'm in photography what I tips do you have for me and it was just literally an open book I'm like hey do this I was to make sure you understand what you're doing same thing with Sharani I mean not being from Jackson and you know they're originally from here mm-hmm. it was just a simple hey this is what I want to do I've at, I invited Sharani over to my house a few times just to sit in front of the camera and explain you know exposure you know just those simple things because I'm like I want you to do well like let's collab together let's do some stuff let's have you know create and then not be what people think like oh it's a competition no it's yeah. girl I love y'all <laughs> like I want us all to succeed and it's fun to see that because then it's like oh how'd you do this oh where'd you get that from oh let's try to do this or you know whatever you know I'm always like helpful whoever because I've, I was that person too you know I've asked you know other photographers you know how to do something or whatever the case may be and stuff. And the, the least I could do is kind of share my knowledge too. That's good. Now, as a photographer, I know you have some type of favorite shoot or favorite place you'd like to, to go to shoot and stuff like that. So in your, ass, or in, your, in your eyes, what's your best or your favorite thing to do when it comes to photography? Sports, mm. number one, hands down. Sports, I mean, being an athlete, like that's mm. what I enjoy doing, you know, and then also working with other athletes because I get it. I was... I was literally you type of thing, you know, so, but also the, the creative aspect of it. It's, you know, taking a, a ordinary place, but then all of a sudden making it dramatic with lighting, with gel, with smoke, with, you know, with anything. So it's just being able to create something dramatic or unique with the sports is probably my most fun. Like I love shooting sports, not sports games, mm-hmm. but just an individual senior creating I mean it's so so fun when I like have an image and then they see it like what we're shooting but then all of a sudden I show them behind the camera and they're like how did you do that and I'm like yeah it's that's the fun part I was say not had I know sometimes the weather plays a, a different element for yourself and for for the photo shoot as well so has there ever been a time where you like man I cannot get the right shot today no, 
Um, <laughs> no, I mean, honestly, it doesn't because I, I understand lighting and I understand exposure. I understand mm-hmm. like certain elements. Um, only hurdle would be rain, yeah. which I've gotten caught in rain before. And I mean, I'll throw black bags over my camera, yeah, yeah. over my light stands if it's a little drizzle and stuff. But for the most part, like, I mean, if it's a cloudy day today, I can make it look like a sunny day based off of using two lights, a gel over the front of it, using the backlight as a gel and then or cover a gel for a backlit as if it was the sun. And then, bam, I have sun. So it's, you know, I just think being having the education of learning how to manipulate light you know, what's given in the area and being able to create something totally unique. Like, I don't struggle in those areas. I pro- Probably the biggest thing would just be the people if it's cold yeah, shooting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because it's shooting out in 30-degree weather as it is now. That's probably the hardest part. So you can't get the, the look they want because of their shivering. Yeah, but yeah. exposure-wise, like, I don't actually, I don't struggle with that part. Because that's the fun part. Like, that's, I like the challenge of something new and going somewhere and like oh like this is bad lighting okay how can i make it good lighting you know now what, what would be that one piece of advice that you would give someone uh, a younger person that wants to dwell in the photography or they would like to turn this into a hobby or maybe they want to turn it into a business later on like what's that one piece of advice that you would give that younger individual really learn your craft whatever it might be if it's photography if it's video if it's real estate if it's esthetician whatever it is like learn your craft you know, because once you have a full understanding of what you're doing, it makes things so much easier. And then you don't have to feel like you're just winging it, which sometimes is fine. But, you know, a lot of it's like, don't be deterred. You know, if you see someone else like, oh, I'm not as good as that person. Who cares? Just do it because you could be there eventually, you know. So, like, my biggest thing was when I started was I wanted to be one of the best photographers in the town. Like, it was, that was just what I wanted to do. So, I learned how to shoot, how to communicate, how to run a business, and, you know, and it's just I didn't let anything stop me from doing that. If it was the education piece, if it was going to, you know, conferences, expos, whatever, to literally learn from other photographers who are at the top of their game, you know, so it was just putting myself out there to do those things. But I would just tell people, just do it. Like, literally, I just had a girl uh, who was a client of mine reach out recently about how to get started in photography. Learn your craft. Mm-hmm. Learn it. Yes, you have a kid, but that's okay. Right. You're doing it because I have a kid. Mm-hmm. Not because, like, oh, they're going to keep me, hold, like, hold me back. No. Just go out and do what you want to do and then learn what you have to do to make sure it's, it's good. I mean, because you're always going to have room for improvement. So. Yes, indeed. Now, where, where's a good place people could find you or contact you if they would like to book a photo shoot with you as well? So uh, I mostly use my Facebook, which is Miami Jarrett Photography. Mm-hmm. Um, also my Instagram, which is Miami Jarrett underscore photography. Mm-hmm. Um, my website is www.miamijarrettphotography.com. Phone, uh, not really, because. <laughs> but mostly um, social media is the best way, or my um, website, too. Okay, well, we appreciate the time you taking out for us to come sit down and talk with you as well, and allowing us into your space as well. And we're, I would say, manifesting nothing but good energy, and yeah. not just for yourself, but for the business and your family as well. Wishing nothing but health and wealth for you guys. And once again, just appreciate you and thank you so much. Yeah, so I, I'm feeling really honored for you guys to come out and kind of take your time to do this type of thing. Oh, also, with just other business owners, like that's just nice to see other people, you know, want to showcase that instead of doing what you want to do type of thing. So I just, I appreciate you guys kind of doing, taking your time to to help others and. Grow. And I wish you guys the best, too, to, you know, <laughs> keep you, growing you. and keep elevating what you're doing and really set your, a stage for yourself, too. So. Okay, thank you so much. All right, y'all. We're going to catch y'all next time. Peace.